it would appear that I'm not exactly a household word. Uh, somebody was mentioning me in their video uh, just yesterday, I guess, or the day before, but I had a chance to watch it today. It is the 19th of uh, April, uh, 2011. Taxi vlog uh, 153. Okay, so here's what's going on. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly a household word. Uh, she said, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's username. So I'm going to teach you right now. Okay. I think I'm done scratching my nose. Okay, here we go. You know, when somebody asks you what kind of a day you're having and it's not exactly pleasant, what do you answer? Meh. You know, meh. Meh. Well, that's the first part of uh, this username for this channel. Meh. And because I'm a quig, quig, meh quig or mechwig, but mechwig is the way to really say it, uh, like you really mean it, mechwig. So that's how you pronounce the name of this channel. <laughs> In case you were wondering, as if this makes a difference, as if I'm going to be a household word now that I've said this, probably not. Uh, this evening it's just about, uh-oh. Why does it say 3.36 on the time? And it's really 8.36. Somebody goofed with the time. I'm going to have to fix this. I'm going to have to fix the time, but I'll worry about it later. 3.36. It's 8.36. It's late. It's night. It's getting dark. This is the time that I come out because I'm a vampire. Well, what is there to report really this week? Not one morning did I get uh, run to the airport. Not one morning this week. The Friday night I worked all night and did okay. The Saturday I did maybe a little better, but nothing terrific. The Sunday, Sunday I did acceptably well. The Sunday, or did I have an airport or Sunday? No, I did not have an airport a Sunday or Monday morning. I just had, you know, a regular week. Uh, and then last night, Monday night, I worked all night and brought home $50 for all my troubles. Yeah. And tonight, it is the Tuesday night. What is reputed to be the slowest night of the week, I don't think it's going to be anything special. Maybe I haven't had a run to the airport because I complained about it. You see, it used to be to get to the airport, you would go out the highway until you saw a sign that said, airport next left. So you pulled into the left lane and there was a traffic light that usually didn't take very long. There was a sensor on it. Is this thing going? Yeah, it looks like the camera's still going. The battery light was coming on uh, and blinking at me before saying that it's low battery. So probably it'll get through recording this and when I shut it off, it won't turn on again. So I won't get to see the fruits of my labor of doing this vlog. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's because I was been, have been complaining about the airport lately. It used to be, like I said, a left turn at the traffic light and then an immediate right turn and you, you just cruise right into you know uh, departures uh, after which would be uh, arrivals but I haven't dealt with arrivals in many years probably since um, early early 1995 that's when I stopped working in the fleet that works out there it's 16 years already wow time does go fast so, now instead of being able to just wait at the, just get to the traffic light, the traffic light turns green, you hang a left, you hang a right, and you go. Now, getting to the airport has become much more complicated. And 
just like everything in Victoria, driving is more complicated and difficult. And instead of just being able to go exactly where you want to go, you have to go through a freaking maze to get there. Now, when you exit from the highway now, it's airport next right now. So if you're used to turning left, you can't do that no more. So you go to the right, and immediately after you've exited, you go up this ramp, and then suddenly what's confronting you is a roundabout. So you have to go around this roundabout thing three quarters of the way around it. Now I can't imagine anyone coming around it all the way because there's nowhere to go. It, it, you know, you go in and you come out. There's one in, one out. So why put a roundabout there? Makes no sense at all, but there's a roundabout. So you go around it. In case you miss your exit from the roundabout, you go around it again. There's no other exit, there's only one. So, you go around this roundabout as many times as you like, and then you can cross the highway. You can go over this bridge that crosses the highway. Now, as soon as you have crossed the bridge, you are confronted with another roundabout. It is a two-lane roundabout with two exits. So, you all get on this thing and there are two exits. Why not just have a T intersection going one way I don't uh, you know but no they have to have a roundabout and immediately as you're getting out of this roundabout there's another roundabout it's a figure eight roundabout it's two roundabouts in one it's two two lane roundabouts and in case you get confused they paint little airplanes on the ground on the pavement to show you which way to go there never used to be no roundabout it used to be a left turn a right turn that was it now there's three roundabouts one before the bridge over the highway and two after the bridge over the highway what a waste of space they could have grown pot there or something instead but no they had to have these three roundabouts right at the exit now to add insult to injury or injury to insult whichever way you want to look at it there is another roundabout if you drive about uh, Four, three, four hundred meters along the road to the airport, there's another roundabout. It used to be a crossroads, and at the crossroads there used to be two stop signs. Uh, the street that is less commonly traveled had a stop sign in each direction, and the other one, which was a two-lane road, went straight through. And you didn't have to stop or slow down or nothing before. There was two stop signs for the cars that were crossing, and there isn't usually much traffic there anyway. So now what they have done is taken something that was simple, effective, and it worked, and it was cheap, and they sunk a whole pile of money into putting four roundabouts at the approach to the airport. <sighs> Stupidity must be equal to progress. Well, I'm going to keep this a short one this week because... It was an uneventful week. I didn't have any customers giving me any trouble. Well, a lot of them paid with Interact, which I don't exactly enjoy. But I had no trouble, and it was a little slow. It was a little soft this last week. So, um, maybe I'll come back next week. Give you a little more. Hope yours is better and more profitable than mine. Thank you very much. Good night.